You are watching a master at work. What's going on, friends? Sam Prentice is back once again. I am in a totally different studio, an insanely professional studio, in fact, with Mr. 3D Printing himself, Mr. Joel Telling. What's up, how, Sam? How are you? I'm better now that you're here. Thank you so much for inviting me to your fabulous studio. I can't quite believe that we're here doing this. this it's is, really exciting to have you here. It's been a long time coming. I it's think, been a long it? time coming. So in front of us here, we have the version two piranha files for the Def Racer. Now, historically, and if we cast our minds way, way back to Form Next, maybe like four years ago, where I sought you out. Yes, that's this, right. The, the original element was, my mind was like, hey, I'm going to go to Germany and find this big time YouTuber who does 3D printing and basically challenge you to a duel. Yeah. Which is basically what it was, wasn't it? It was amazing. Well, we did it. So we, Formnext was the first meeting. Then we had the prototypes. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, that, so then we actually did some battling at that point. That's where right. Was, where we were growling death races at each other for ages, which was great. So we had a crowd. It was yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah. And then, and then yeah. the security were like, "Can you stop doing this? Because it's like we're worried about stuff." But anyway, we move on swiftly, and of course, it's been a roaring success. Again, I thought this was just going to be a one-time deal. It was ready and set up for the Midwest Rep Rep Festival. Mm -hmm. Then it was catapulted forward at the East Coast Rep Rep Festival. Now, 3D Printopia. Now it's at Rocky Mountain. Now it's at potentially open source and stuff. Potentially, well. yeah. So there's loads of scope for this, and. As things have evolved, the file system has now evolved as well, and Big Tree Tech has now supplied us with a kit. So there it is. It's got my name and face on it, which is worrying and concerning. It's got my face on it too. Dis it has, I mean, isn't it? It, it does. Has. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got my face on it too. It's disconcerting all at the same time, which is um, which is nice. <laughs> Look but at that face. It's the face only a mother could love. Really. Indeed, and my mother probably doesn't. Your uh, mother doesn't love my face. Well, I don't know. I'll have to ask her when I get back. Maybe I'll do a bit, <laughs> bit of beef. Do you love his face? I think it's all right. My 80, 80 year old mother. I'm sure she's going to have a comment on that. But Big Tree Tech have now put all the parts together inside a tidy little box. This is the version one version of this. There is a version two coming out in the very, very near future. And hopefully by the time this video goes live, we'll have that and um, you'll know all about that. But this is the V2 file. It's called the Piranha. It's been invented and reworked by Ryan and Steven and Kim and Jeremy and a bunch of other people that are over on Offset Maker Lab. So if you're on my Discord channel, you'll get involved with the whole kind of concept of where we're going with this. But these what, are good parts, man. Yeah. So what we noticed originally, and as we've spoken about in the past, is that you would self-source a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So the motors, the RC equipment, the batteries, the electronics, all that kind of stuff. So what big 2 Tech have done is they've enabled that group of people to have this as a $189, you know, factory fit solution That's you know bad. which is which I, think is, which I think is pretty good I, th I don't think you could even buy the controller for less than 60 bucks so not on your own no so no. to do this and to have this put together it's made it much easier and again the reworked files and the instructions and stuff has all been reworked and we're hoping now we've got the perfect solution and on the facebook site and also my discord channel there is a ton of support there's a team behind this now so it's not just me trying to be a content creator <laughs> and trying to support other things as well. We've had to stop, take a step back into this because people were getting confused and lost with how things work here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, we're, we're there. We're yeah, we're there. Th so, well, I think we're there. So what we're doing today is originally, of course, we have seen, we've got this archaic- um, Should I read it? Should I get it? Should I get it? Get it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is the original Def Racer that Joel had built for the first Midwest Rep Rep Festival. And I'm surprised that you've still got this. Why? Well, because you know you've moved. It's a part of history, you know, man. It, it, it really is. But this <laughs> this lasted about ten. So this is pretty much all the parts inside of this are probably good because you oh, yeah. it for about ten seconds. Yeah, I, I mean that's being generous. Yeah. So <laughs> here we are, um, and we're going to rework this. So they do. They will look very similar, of course. But in this kit, there's three different sort of front ends. There's a um, a shark kind of version. The, uh, the hammerhead, version, right? This version. is. This this was probably one of my favorite pieces yeah. to load up. I'm like, this looks fun. It does. Yeah, it's got a nice bumper on the front of it to, to smash into your competitors. But we're here today. We've got, uh, it's Boy in Space, Ben as well, that is on the beacon over here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and based off of that, um, we've got three death races to build today. So we're going to crack on with that. But what I want to do first, though, is thank our sponsors, PCBWay.com and also Polymaker. 
This channel is sponsored by Polymaker and PCBWay, the best choice in filament and PCB manufacturing. Explore PCBWay's 3D printing portal. Easily upload your STL file and choose from a spectrum of exotic filaments for that special project. From PCBs to 3D prints, trust PCBWay.com for your unmatched quality and innovation. Visit them today at PCBWay.com. <laughs> okay, Joel. Oh. Let's get it into it. Let's, it's time. It's time. Let's make it happen. Right, so we're back. It's uh, blood, sweat and tears here. A day and a half worth of building. Um, but we're finally across the line. And Thank we're goodness. Just, we're just about to engage into battle. Um, again, this is the one that I've built. Obviously, I've had input into the others as well. Um, just, <laughs> input, just the input. I just wanted to ask. It was a little bit arduous, let's, let's be fair. I think it was a little bit arduous because the kit and the file system are kind of both on their own timeline and they're not really in sync. Big Tree Tech put together a decent kit. Like, it's way better than it used to be when we had to self-source stuff. Uh, there's some changes that could be made to make it even better. And then once we can provide parity with the kit and a versioned file system for the STLs, this is gonna be unstoppable. I think it's gonna be good. Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, the good news here is that we have got a team of people now behind this. Uh, and again, the Discord, Facebook groups, there's lots of resources there for people if you do get stuck during the build. Obviously, this was a quick build for us. Very you know, quick. Day and a half. Um, ben, how have you gone? Like with this? You can hold this if you want. Thank you so much. That's okay. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun. Obviously, there was a few things that were a little difficult for me, which was filament. But also the tools that we had were also maybe not the most convenient. But I think it went well. There was like a few pieces that he mentioned that well, we all yeah. kind of figured out oh, yeah. that it yeah. was missing or we had to self-source a few things for the specific kit. Yep. But I don't know, now that it's over with. Yeah, it's a bit of a sigh of relief, isn't it? It's just, one of those things where like you're, you put all this effort into it and the whole way through, you're just like beating your head against the wall. But then when it's done, you're like, I am so happy that I stuck through and got it finished. Yeah, and we've not even raced yet. So that's coming I mean, up. I did go outside already. <laughs> oh, okay, right. So just really quick then, Ben, what's this printed on? What's the materials that's been used? So I used the Bamboo X1 Carbon and the A1. A1. Uh, I used mostly bamboo filaments, so I used the PPACF, and then I used their Galaxy. I used Polymaker for the actual like moon on the side, and then thanks to Formlabs, they actually SLS printed the treads in 90A, TPU, and then other than that, I think that's pretty much it, right? Awesome, yeah. And some sparkly filaments. Yeah. Looks good, it looks <laughs> excellent. But some of the issues were with tolerance for some of the carbon fiber elements, right? Yeah, because obviously a lot of the parts you can push the screw through pretty easily and then it'll self tap on the underside. And unfortunately, we all know how PPA or CF is kind of like a brace of on the outside. Yeah. So I think that caused some issues. And then with the little screwdriver, my wrist hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so for my one, uh, mainly panchroma, a lot of polymaker filaments inside of that. Although the blue top here, we've just printed that on the Prusacore one. Most of this is printed on the Prusacore. Well, what's this actually called, this filament? Uh, that blue filament is from Printed Solid and it's their new Elixir line. And actually that leads me to my racer too, because I use that Jesse Elixir filament from Printed Solid. I know we kind of joked about Elixir PLAs yeah. and you know how they're 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 not up to snuff, but Dave over at Printed Solid and them they've they've kind of engineered them. They have a little bit of extra stuff in it, and there's been tests showing layer adhesion is off the charts. And so I I did use extra perimeters and extra triangles in the infill, which I know you'd be proud of me for. And so on mine, I've got on one side the Jesse Elixir from Printed Solid for the actual uh, what would that be? What are these called? Uh, 
uh, the, the, the these parts here. Yeah. So that's the um, that's that's the uh, what wheel gear. Is that? Wheel gear. It's yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's the gearing that turns the tracks. It's the gearing wheel. It's the gearing wheel. Yeah. So I did one side in in that elixir, and the other side I did in CF Pet G from Pantheon Designs on the HS3. Yep. I also um, my racer has protopasta. Uh, let's see the protopasta material and some of that elixir. Um, I used a lot of Prusament Galaxy Black because it's just beautiful, and the tracks are going to be in the Fibrology um, Fiberflex 40D. On and a lot of this was a lot of this was Core One. Some of it, like I said, was the HS3, and then I also did the Elegoo Century Carbon. So a um, few printers kind of contributed to this but some really good materials. Right, well, there's only one more thing to do, of course. And let's go outside and see who, uh, who wins. Who wins. Let's, um, let's get straight into this one. a master at work. <laughs> Gloop. It sticks us together. <laughs>